team at ICANN has come together to find an equitable solution that is safe, that is reliable, uh, that allows us to move forward with processing the applications. And I'm very glad to tell you that we have uh, conceived of a solution that we believe achieves these goals. What we will do is we will start in the first half of December with a prioritization draw where we will essentially have a simple manual drawing of all the applications enabling us to assign to each application a draw number. That draw number will then be used to process applications and all the steps leading to delegation in a structured, smooth, steady way. What will happen is as follows. After we complete the drawing in the first half of December, we will continue receiving objections through March 13th. At that point, in the, first, in the second half of March, we will start releasing the results of the initial evaluations in the order of the draw numbers. With one exception, which I believe in, we're going to release the initial evaluations of all IDNs first, because we believe this is the right thing to do for the public interest and for our commitment to global outreach. After the 116 IDNs, the rest of the initial evaluations will be released in the order of the draw numbers. Once these are released, each applicant will look at their application. If there are no objections, no contentions, no issues with their initial evaluation, they can move to the next step, which has to do with the agreement. At that point, they will be able to either accept the form of the generic agreement that we have put for the community to see already, or if they wish to negotiate, they can go into a negotiation cycle. If they accept the form agreement, they go into selecting an appointment for their pre-delegation test. And that appointment uh, will be available to them based on their draw number. So when they get to that gate, we'll look at their draw number, and based on that, we'll provide them with options for these tests. They will go through the test. If the test is good and they completed it successfully, they then move into a third and last gate, that uses the draw number, and that's the gate of signing the agreement, completing it, and moving to delegation by IANA. Now, we will not be executing agreements before the Beijing meeting. The Beijing meeting uh, is a point after which we will start executing agreements, and once ag agreements are executed, the applicants can smoothly move into the delegation phase. This process smooths the flow of applications, it allows us to release them in batches that conform to the requests of the technical community to keep delegations to a thousand per year and ensure the stability and the resilience of the DNS uh, naming system that, of which we are stewards. Will there be an opportunity for the community to discuss this in Toronto? Absolutely. We're going to Toronto to share this with the community and get feedback. We're always willing to improve on what we came up with. What's important here is to understand that we have a breakthrough. We have found a solution that addresses all the concerns we've had. It's simple, it's equitable, it deals with the public interest and the global outreach we've been wanting to make happen, and it allows us to move forward at a faster clip and start moving new GTLDs into the route. I think this is what we all want, so I invite everyone to come together in Toronto and work with us so we can advance forward with this new solution.